Our today's topic of discussion is vibration in main engine and ways to reduce it. As we know, when engine is running, it is subjected to the various vibrations such as axial, longitudinal, and torsional. Therefore, it is of most important to reduce these vibrations. So, let discuss this one by one. First one is axial vibration. This type of vibration occurs in a crankshaft because of tangential and radial forces from piston through crosshead. Axial vibrators are nothing but longitudinal shifting of main engine. In order to dampen uh, axle, uh, in order to dampen this, axle dampers are used. Uh, here, a flange is placed near the last main bearing girder inside the cylindrical casing. Oil is supplied from both sides of the flange through orifice. When crankshaft vibrates axially, oil inside cylinder circulates from one side of flange to other side of flange through throttling valve, resulting in damping effect. So, second one is a longitudinal vibration. This vibration causes axial movement of main engine. In order to dampen this movement, bracing is used. These bracings are generally uh, placed at the top. Uh, this, uh, there are generally two types of bracing. One is hydraulic bracing. Second one is frictional type bracing. In frictional type bracing, uh, this is the most common type of uh, used bracing for main engines. Frictional between uh, between pads which brace the engine at the top so the resonance with critical order is above the speed of range. It generally consists of shims between two plates uh, uh, and hydraulically fastened by the bolts. So we can see in this diagram here that uh, engine side is fastened by the hydraulic adjusted bolts. So we have to check, we have to hydraulically test it uh, at a specific time this bolt tightness. And the, due because of the friction here, damping effect takes place. Third, is, third one is the torsional vibration. It occurs as the crankshaft is subjected to the torsional forces. Most common type of torsional damper is viscous type damper, which consists of inertia ring which is added to the crankshaft enclosed. Inertia ring is surrounded by thick liquid such as highly viscous fluid like silicon. This inertia ring is free to rotate, provides uh, so when the crankshaft rotates, it provides lagging torque on crankshaft which helps in dampening the torsional vibration. So that's all guys about the vibration. This is a small but very important topic uh, which surveyor may ask you. So thank you guys. Please share this video with your friends who are preparing for MEO class for examination. Subscribe my channel. This is a small effort from me to, let, uh, to help the guys who are preparing for class 4. This video is for educational purpose only. Thank you.